the world of business is changing. I don't think anyone would disagree with that. And, and the role that humans are going to play in that world is changing rapidly as well. So what's happening? We're moving from seller-led to customer-led. We're moving from product-led to service-led. We're moving from uh, complex and cumbersome to, to simple and agile. We're moving from hard to do business with to easy to do business with. And that's all great. That's a really, really good thing for, for business and for us as individuals. But something else is happening in parallel. We're starting to automate things more and more. We're starting to take out repeatable activities and busy work and give those to smart software or artificial intelligence, which is great for, for businesses and it's good for customers. Well, what does that mean for us as, as people, as, as employees, as people who want to build careers? It means we need to get much smarter about the things that we do every day. We need to start disrupting the skills that have served us really well for the last five or 10 years and finding the skills that will, will keep us relevant for the next five or 10 years. And so many of those, those skills relate to our ability to interact with other people. It relates to tasks which aren't automatable because they require um, insight. They require um, really good discovery and great conversations with other people. They require us to have empathy and be able to put ourselves in the shoes of other people. So that would be my, my call to action for businesses out there. Recognize that that customers are looking for a different experience and, and, and wanting to engage in a different way. There's a lot of stats that are saying, you know, the vast majority of people in the business to business world now want to buy as if they're consumers. I, I traveled the world last year with a, with a company and spoke to all of their staff in all of these different cities around the world. And I asked the question, please raise your hand if you think your business is easy to do business with. It seemed like a really, really simple question. And on four continents and lots and lots, lots and lots of cities, only two hands went up in all of those rooms. So this is the opportunity, but it's also the responsibility. Get this right, we'll be, we'll be employed and we'll be running great businesses for the foreseeable future. Get this wrong and you run the risk of becoming um, surplus to requirements very, very quickly.